podcast where it's all about helping us to have better relationships not what not just with ourselves but with other people i'm noreen daly your host and with me this time around is rona mccoy trained mediator family woman lots of other things rona welcome thank you noreen how can we live peaceably with others this is right up your street so to speak as a mediator there are some people who think that it will never ever happen in this this sinful world that we live in, but I do believe it's possible. So I believe if it, if everybody in their own space make an effort, it would have a ripple effect to the wider society, starting with their families. So how do you think we can live peaceably with others? I, I think living in peace with others is is one of the greatest things that we can do. And as 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 a people, we. We hear about crime and mm-hmm. violence so much, and it 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 bothers us. It bothers me. Mm-hmm. You're driving down the road and you have people with road rage. They just want to, yeah, just want to, you know, yeah, something. Peace is just not around mm-hmm. as much as it as it probably used to be in our in our parents' mm-hmm. days. Mm-hmm. I don't know if it's because we've taken on so much, and we're just busy, 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 mm-hmm. busy. Mm-hmm. So therefore. We don't have time to sit and smell the roses and, mm-hmm, and, and mm-hmm. but if we want to have peace and live in peace, mm-hmm. we first need to find inner peace. If if I am not at peace with myself, I cannot be at peace with you. You understand? Sure. So maybe sure. I need to take some time every day to just spend time with me and be at peace with me. Hmm. I believe it begins mm-hmm. with me. Mm-hmm. And if if I can be at peace with me, then remember, I will be at peace with you. Mm-hmm. And if we all take on that attitude, it will spread from me to you, to my household, to my relatives, to my friends, to my workplace, to mm-hmm. my town, to my mm-hmm. to my mm-hmm. country. Mm-hmm. 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 So that's the first thing I'm saying. Before Let you... there be peace with me. Let mm-hmm. it begin with me. Before you move on, that though, there are people who are listening who I know, because there are some people think that if it is that you're going to stop to take time for yourself, you're being selfish, and 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 you know people might want your time. Speak more in terms of why that is so important. Though I mean, you've said it, mm-hmm. but there are some people who still have the mindset that if they take some time for themselves, people are going to see them as selfish, or they think they're being selfish and not catering to others. Okay, that is a very good point you're trying to make. But mm-hmm. I am still saying, mm-hmm. I'm still saying, mm-hmm. if I don't take time for me, no matter what you might think, you might think I'm selfish or whatever, but yeah. if I don't take time to take care of me, mm-hmm. I will not be able to focus on you yeah. and take care of you. Yeah. Okay. So I, I honestly believe because I, most people don't know, but I really like playing my video games. Mm-hmm. And if I don't spend some time with me, just to take care of me, mm-hmm. sometimes playing my game, sometimes just praying. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I sit down on that tree at home, just looking out. On, the, on nature, mm-hmm. spend time with me. And once I find that inner peace, yeah. remember, I will not be at war with you. Beautiful, beautiful. I'll be able to handle all conflicts that you are going to come with with me. Mm-hmm. I'll be able to handle it because I'm calm. Mm-hmm. And, and you'll get that calmness from me. Mm-hmm. And you will not be able to have no, any conflict with me. Mm-hmm. You understand? I've, no, I've known you for some years and I don't think we've ever had mm-hmm. any mm-hmm. major conflicts. True. Because I try to take care of me. So when you come up with me, all you're going to do is laugh and enjoy my company. Mm-hmm. So you know the song, mm-hmm. let there be peace, peace on earth and let it begin with me. Mm-hmm. I believe in that song. I believe that mm-hmm. song and I try mm-hmm. to live that song. And if I get, if that is the one message I get out there about living at peace with everybody yeah. is to let it begin with me. Because 
others will see it mm-hmm. coming out of me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And um, my 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 grandparents, mm-hmm. I always hear my grandfather say, I never have to tell her that Aria yeah, I read. Wow. And and that is because they always lived at peace with each other. Each mm-hmm. of them had their time. Spend your time apart mm-hmm. in peace. And when you come together, we will be with, in peace, at peace with each, with each other. And I've grown to live the same life. I, I got married and I can say that I never had to live at war with, with my husband. We were always at peace with each other. And it's because I have peace within me. And then he had peace within him. So therefore there was peace in the home and mm-hmm. good communication in the home. Mm-hmm. So that, that, mm-hmm. is a, that is a good point. And if we all live with, those, with that point sure. in mind, sure. peace will reign throughout. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Stop. And I'm just going to add to that. Just stop and be still. Find inner peace. Right. If, if, if we have, if we exercise patience and tolerance mm-hmm. and all those things, peace will reign. Peace will reign if we, if we practice all those things. Love, you know, all these things. If we, if we practice these things, the Bible speaks about them. <laughs> if we if we practice we all know you know but how many of us practice it because you 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 I, you you said one just now that I, I really wanted to spend a little time on exercise patience and tolerance especially the tolerance the tolerance aspect of it there are a lot of us who think sometimes that if rather than being open to other people see things mm-hmm. if it is not my way it cannot happen. Our my mm-hmm. way is the way. Is the way. Is the way. Mm-hmm. That is true. We have, you see, let, let me tell you how I work with people like those. Because I was, I, I had a project I was doing the other day and I was working with this particular person. And the person said that they are the boss and it has to go their way or no way. Mm-hmm. And I said, okay, I'm going to work with this person. Mm-hmm. And I'm not going to have any conflict with this person. So I was working with the person and the person noticed that whatever I did, I did it the way they wanted me to do it. Mm-hmm. And sometimes we had a little glitch here and a little glitch there. Mm-hmm. And eventually they found out that maybe Rona really know what she's doing. Rona is not arguing with me. She doesn't do what I'm doing. And when I do it her way, we might, we, we had a little problem. So then she started to convert and come around to my way. Mm-hmm. And eventually mm-hmm. the entire project went my way and we had peace right through it because I didn't argue with the person. But I just did it. I did it her way initially. And then I started to make slight little changes, slight right, changes, slight changes. Right. Until she realized that maybe conflict was not the way to work this thing. Yes. Maybe you could listen mm-hmm, to what mm-hmm, the other person mm-hmm, had to say. Mm-hmm. Be a little more tolerant. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's not all. You don't know everything. That's right. That's right. You understand? Mm-hmm. And then eventually it came around and the same person came back to me and said, they were sorry that they were so you know, stiff-headed in the yeah. beginning. And intolerant. And intolerant. <laughs> mm-hmm. And eventually everything worked out just fine. Okay. Sometimes That's we it. need to be a little tolerant. Yeah. Patience and tolerance. You were saying love. Practice love. Well, God is love. And I believe that if we put love in front of everything, then everything is going to be okay. When we talk about the conflict, the tolerance, the mm-hmm. patience, the mm-hmm. communication, the this and the that, mm-hmm. if we practice genuine love for our brother and our sisters, sisters. then everything is going to be okay. Hmm. This, the, you know, <laughs> somebody's hmm. saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. Practice love. It's, it's easy for you to say, because you sound like you don't have some of the challenges and some of the stress and the, the strain that I have to undergo. All right. Let me, let me, let me, let me go back to something I said. Um, I believe, and I've told I told this to my daughter. I've told this to friends. Mm-hmm. If you are going to come and raise your voice or argue or whatever, I'm okay. going to whisper. That's what I do. You come to me with your rage and mm-hmm. you come and on the top of your voice, I'm going to whisper in response to you. And mm-hmm. tell me if you're going to continue to shout. <laughs> tell me if you're going to continue to shout. You are going to say, why are you whispering? <laughs> 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 Why are you That's true. And you eventually just eventually calm down and calm down and come. And as and, and and I'm also saying, uh-huh. if you want to have war with me, let's go to the library and have war. Let's uh-huh. go to the park and have uh-huh. war. Let's go to church and have war. Uh-huh. When you go to these places, you can't be shouting. You have to whisper. Mm-hmm. You have to tone mm-hmm. it down. Mm-hmm. So let us try these things. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Seriously, 
find a public space or anything else. We we're, we're we're talking about how can we live peaceably with others. You've you've said with, with, with the prevalence of, of crime and violence, you know, if 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 we made an effort to be more tolerant and maybe even just practicing inner peace, it would mm-hmm. even have a ripple effect mm-hmm. in society. I mean, it might not be the cure-all and the be-all, mm-hmm. but it would at least minimize some of the mm-hmm. conflicts that then escalate mm-hmm. into the crime and the violence. And of course, you said practice love. Anything mm-hmm. else that I, you want I, to I, share? I, 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 Well, I've had a lot of experience with mediation, with persons who, especially in families mm-hmm. that are maybe way back when grand, from parents and grandparents' days that they had war and a lot of animosity in the home. Mm-hmm. So now three generations down, mm-hmm. it is really bad because that's all they've seen. Yeah, and that has festered over time. And that time. has festered over time. Well, I, I usually say to these people, what do you want for your family? Hmm. What do you want? Maybe grandma and grandpa didn't know better. Right. But now we are in we are we are here today. Mm-hmm. What do you mm-hmm. want? Yeah. And most of the times, if not every time, they say they want peace. They can't take it anymore. Mm-hmm. They want peace. Okay, what are we going to do if we want peace? Yes, we've uh, we've seen this for the last three generations, but we are here How now. We're stop the cycle. How are we going to stop the cycle? Yeah. How are we going to stop the cycle? And and you know this is. Physical abuse, mental abuse, all these abuse that they've seen over the years. How are we going to stop the cycle? Mm -hmm. All right, now we're going to stop the quarreling. One person is going to argue and one person cannot argue. So when that person (laughs) starts to quarrel, Mm -hmm. you just zip it. And we we try that for a little while. All Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, I'm not going to argue back with you. No matter how you quarrel, I'm not going to answer you. And all of a sudden, that person has to stop arguing. All right, then. No, we're not going to say bad things to each other. You, You this and your that and your that and your that. We're not going to do that anymore. The name calling thing. Mm-hmm. We're going to stop that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And after a while, we see some changes. You understand? Yeah. Sometimes persons have to come back to you two or three times because they, they fall and they. they mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, how did it's it a go? Process. It is a process. Mm-hmm. You understand? Mm-hmm. We're going to stop the name calling. We're going to stop the shouting. We're going to stop being mean to each other. We're going to stop hitting each other because we have. Physical abuse going on, a lot of it going on out there. Mm-hmm. So if if I feel like I want to hit you, I turn and I walk through the door. So let's just try yeah. things, take baby steps, yeah. try different things. And it, it might take a long while, but eventually, yeah. if but, that is what you really want to happen, because you're the one who said, I want peace in my family. Mm-hmm. So you really want the peace, let us try to make baby steps until we get to where we want to get. What if somebody's listening and they're saying, but for me to have peace, it probably means I need to just not say some things, I, I I am putting up with disrespect, I'm putting up with abuse. What then is your response to that? All right, I'm not going to say every relationship is going to work. Okay. I'm not going to say that because the two parties have to want it to work. Okay. The two parties have to want it to work. So you might say, um, I want this, I want, I want peace to reign in my family. Mm-hmm. And I don't want to leave him or I don't want to leave her, mm-hmm. but I can't take the abuse anymore. So I'm not saying that every single relationship has to work. Okay. But if the two parties want it to work, I, I, have, I have said it many times. If two people want it to work, it can work. It might be hard. Mm-hmm. It can work. work. It, it will take work. Mm-hmm. So now the, the steps that I just stated, mm-hmm. you're going to have to take them, baby steps. I will stop name calling. I will stop. I will... Speak to you when you speak to me. I will not be, 12 of us not going to be at it together. One mm-hmm. person talk at a time. Yeah. I'm not going to be shouting at you. You understand? Mm-hmm. So let us start. And both of us can make up the rules. It do- doesn't have to come from a book. Both yes. of us make up the rules. Okay, when I come in in the evenings, I'm not going to just walk past you and go on like, say, I don't see you. I'll say good evening. In the mornings, I'll say good morning. Okay, I will not raise my voice X amount above Whatever, mm-hmm. when I'm speaking with mm-hmm. you, I will look you in the eye and talk to you. I will say good things. You look good today. Your hair look nice today. So you, you understand what I'm right. saying? We can make up our own rules to have a peaceful life in the family or in, in yeah. society. Yeah. You understand? During the day, you send a text. How are you doing today? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You understand? Those little things. Those little things. Yeah. So those are some of the things I would say that we all need to do to be at peace with each other. Yeah. We've, we've been talking about, and as we're wrapping up, how can we live peaceably with others? We've covered several, 
several aspects of this, but one personally that I believe that will re that has resonated with me, Rona, is the fact that how we must find inner peace. For us to find that inner peace, you have to stop and and be still. I remember some months ago, some friends of mine gave me for my birthday gave me two teacups that said pause. And I said, yes, I, I, I know exactly what they're trying to tell me that I need to mm -hmm. slow down mm -hmm. and just be just sometimes. Be. Mm -hmm. So that is what has resonated with me. And that is one of the things I'm taking from this conversation. So as we are wrapping up your final words, Rona. All right. My final word is each of us need to take some time. Ten minutes out of a 24 hour day. Just take some time mm -hmm. to just be with yourself. And I don't mean be with yourself, doing a whole bunch of stuff with yourself. Just 10 minutes to do nothing. It is okay to do nothing. nothing. It is okay. Mm -hmm. Just take 10 minutes and don't feel guilty that I'm doing nothing and I have the dishes to wash and I have that to do and I have that to do and I have that to do. It is, oh, let the dishes stay for 10 minutes. Yeah, they're not going anywhere. They're not going anywhere. It is okay. So my thing, in order to find that inner peace mm -hmm. that we want to find, Take some time every single day to be with yourself. That's what I have to say. Thank you so much, Rona. This has been Making It Last with your host, Noreen Dealer. It's all about helping you to have better relationships, not just with ourselves, but with other people. Until next time. You loving me. I loving you. Mothers and fathers. Husbands and wives, sisters and brothers.